Ever wondered what would happen if you did 100 box jumps every day? Now that's a question that's been bouncing around in my head. So, let's set the stage, shall we? For those not in the know, box jumps are a type of plyometric exercise. You know, the ones that make your muscles scream for mercy. You're basically leaping onto a sturdy box from a standing position and then jumping back down. It's simple, but oh boy, it's not easy. Box jumps can ramp up your power, speed, and even your cardiovascular fitness. But they're also notorious for making you sweat like a beast. I'm talking Niagara Falls levels of perspiration, folks. Oh, and let's not forget the legs. They're going to feel like jelly after a few dozen jumps. So buckle up and get ready as we dive into this intense fitness challenge. Day one, and you're full of energy, ready to conquer the world, one box jump at a time. You're raring to go, bounding up and down like a kangaroo on a caffeine buzz. Your heart is pounding like a drum solo at a rock concert, and your muscles are singing a symphony of soreness. Yet, there's a sense of accomplishment that's as intoxicating as a fine vintage wine. Now days two and three roll around. You're still jumping, but there's a bit less spring in your step. Your muscles are staging a full-scale rebellion, and you're starting to understand why stairs were invented. They're a plot to make you feel every single box jump you've done. You find yourself eyeing elevators longingly, and even a small step feels like you're being asked to climb Mount Everest. But remember, it's only the beginning and there's a long way to go. Fast forward today, 15. And it's not just your legs that are feeling the burn. You're in the thick of it now, and your entire body is shouting, What on earth are you doing? Your muscles ache with a vengeance. Each box jump feels like you're climbing Mount Everest and monotony is setting in. But let's not forget the silver linings here. Your stamina? Skyrocketing. Your strength? Well, let's just say you're starting to feel like a superhero. And agility? You're practically a ninja now. It's not all sweat and soreness, folks. And let's be honest. Who knew sitting down could feel like a trip to the spa? Every time you plop down, it's like a mini vacation for your weary legs. Ah, the simple joys of life. So keep at it. Embrace the madness. You're halfway there. Keep pushing and remember every jump counts. Day 30. And you can't believe you've made it this far. The final stretch, the last few days of this challenge. And you've been jumping like a kangaroo on a caffeine rush. Your muscles are toned like a Greek statue, only a bit more lively. Those calves could compete with the stallions, and let's not even start with those thighs. Your balance and coordination are on point, literally. You can now dodge banana peels like a ninja, and your endurance? Let's just say, if endurance were a marathon, you'd be the one setting the pace. You've become a box jump machine, a human pogo stick, if you will. You can't pass a box without jumping on it. It's become second nature. It's almost as if those boxes are calling your name, whispering, jump on me, jump on me. You've done it 100 box jumps every day for 30 days and you've lived to tell the tale. So what happens if you do 100 box jumps every day? Well, let's just say you might start to see boxes in a whole new light. You'll find yourself not just jumping on them, but perhaps even developing a newfound respect for them. The journey was undeniably challenging filled with sweat, determination, and the occasional face plant into the box. But it was also remarkably rewarding. There was a noticeable improvement in physical fitness, from stronger, more defined leg muscles to increased cardiovascular endurance. The mental strength and discipline developed during this experiment were just as significant. There's something incredibly empowering about sticking to a fitness regime day in and day out, even when your legs are screaming at you to stop. But the most important lesson learned? Consistency is key. It's not about reaching your goal in a day, a week, or even a month. It's about the small, consistent steps you take towards it every single day. Remember, fitness isn't about being better than someone else. It's about being better than you used to be. And if you can conquer 100 box jumps a day, imagine what else you can achieve.